Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I managed to cook myself some chicken stew today and I thought I'd come and eat it and have a little chat with you guys. Um, I also want to say, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you very much guys for your thumbs up on my last video. I really appreciate it. Guys, yes, I'm eating today some chicken soup and by the time I get around to eating mine, less soup than I'd like to be having but you know how it goes when you're a mom you kind of have to make sure everybody's all right before yourself um so Angelo is back so I was helping to feed him because like stuff like um carrots and stuff and potatoes you find the texture's a little bit off so you kind of have to encourage him and let him taste it first before you eat the full whack and the only thing he'll eat by himself because <laughs> he'd be lazy is the corn so which he did an amazing job on that to be fair so can't complain i'm gonna do a quick prior and then i'm gonna start eating heavenly father god thank you lord for providing this food bless it help it to nourish us in the right way in your son jesus name we pray amen yeah i don't know what's making that click click noise so what for one i'm eating out of a bowl which normally that's what you eat soup from, but you know it's a bit tricky because it's mm, a square bowl. I basically got the bottom of the soup, which is kind of like the good part. But Ramar got more soup than me, and still in the day while it was nice and hot as well. Um, you're saying not keen on soup, we'll just eat the food stuff, but even he hadn't had his yet. Mm. I mean, I tell you, it tastes good. It tastes really good. This is like soup that my mom would cook from like growing up, my family, Jamaican chicken soup. And now our soup comes with like food. I've got potatoes in here, I've got carrots, and I've got dumpling. Normally, you'd have probably like yams as well and pumpkin but i use like the jamaican cock soup you know that i'll be finding pumpkin at this end of yeah probably not so sure but it's not easy fine it's not like you know areas that you definitely get a bit of pumpkin like without having to think whether it's there or not so mm. But it tastes really yummy. I think this is what we needed. Like I said, I got this morning and I said to them, I've done really well today actually. Really, really well. I've done a lot of work. Some washing. I can't believe how much laundry. There's always laundry in this house. But it shocked me this morning when I realised how much laundry I had to do. Mm. Stuff like that. But I got up, asked them, you know, should I make a bit of chicken soup? And everybody was like, yeah, um, that's what I made. So, got my potatoes, carrots. I'm going to talk you guys through how I made it. Mm. That was really hot. So, a bit of carrot in my corn. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy guys. Been a bit greedy, took two corns. I'll see how I go with it. I don't know who else does this, but when I'm making my chicken soup, I do season my chicken. <laughs> and I tell you the flavours. It's really, you can see the steam coming from it. So I'm not going to like shove this in my mouth. Fridge with the ice, guys. That's making noise.
So basically, I boil the water, the chicken is seasoned, then I put in the chicken first. Oh, a bit of my scarf falling down. Mm. Put the chicken in first, let it boil, and um, in the middle of that boiling, I Wash the corn, cut up the carrots, and um, put the corn and the carrots in to cook along with the chicken. Then start working on my um, peeling my potatoes. Um, making the dumplings I made about six or seven dumplings something like that cutting back and eating I just make it because I know it's nice in soup and the kids will like it I'll just eat one and I'll give the give them my two um, I don't know how many this chain is going to have didn't give Andrew any because like along with the potatoes and the carrots and the sweet corn and chicken the dumpling would be a lot for him but he does like dumpling but um he done really well like when he was eating he said oh mom i'm full and i said have your corn and then he finished his corn so he done really well um sometimes he likes dumplings especially fried dumplings so where was i once i um Do the dumplings, and I know that the chicken is chicken is not like red meat or beef or it doesn't take long to cook, basically, you know. So once I know that's got, got going for a little while with a corn, then I start adding my dumpling. Let it cook a little bit, then I put the potatoes in. Then I just put my cut noodle, Jamaican cut noodles. Mix it in. Then the only thing I forgot to tell you that I put in two things: a bit of salt, like in the beginning of like once I pour, once the water was there, before I put my chicken in, I put a bit of salt in there. Um, and then I did put some garlic cloves in. And I just basically went upstairs, leave it to boil while I finish off Tilly's hair because I'll wash Tilly's hair. Like I said, I've kind of accomplished a lot today. I tidied my room a bit more than I thought I would have done. Lift those pizza beds and hoover underneath it and all of that and um, wash the sheets. You know? So, managed to do a lot today. Had my quick shower before I come to eat. That's why the soup kind of reduced more than I wanted it to but it, it's, it tastes really lovely so even the fact that I'm able to come film while I'm eating is a good achievement so yeah I'm taking a lot of meat as well though don't want to overdo it because like I told you guys, I've cut down on guys, I've cut down on the eating. I could find another dumpling in my plate and I'm not eating that. I've probably been greedy. Didn't realise I've got two. I told, told myself I'm going to only have one. Just hope there's some good. To shame, which I'm sure there is. There's like a bit of food in there. I just know that I didn't make a lot of dumplings. A lot of potatoes, a lot of sweet corn. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, on a 
wanted to talk about a little thing about it's a big thing but something I thought I wanted to like talk about I don't even know how to start it to be fair um, something I read today on my Facebook one of my friends you know I'm really going through it relationship not easy at all it's not easy you go through the honeymoon period you go through like the good times and stuff like that and if you're not somebody that continuously trying to work at it and maybe ignore some of the stuff that would make you jump out your skin you don't last and if you go to the point where you know it's, it's abusive in the sense of psychological our physical you know obviously you know that's a hard one to stay in Not gonna go into it too much but i just think it was so brave of her to share a bit of her story of what she's going through because people go through some hard times you know i shared a bit yesterday what am i saying yesterday chatting rubbish you know i shared a bit the other day about how i my health and how, how i've been struggling and you know it is just not easy guys it's not easy everybody's going through some difficult times and just how you get through it and when you get into a certain type of age I want to say 40 odd 50 going up it probably could be younger because you even have young people that think you know what's the point point of life and all of these things and I just want to just say guys out there dig deep you know there's always a point you wouldn't be here if there wasn't a point of life I don't know sometimes it's very difficult because some people don't have a fate and they don't have anything to turn to so they might turn to um, drugs or alcohol and stuff like that and it, you know it's, that is like um, a bit of a vicious cycle sometimes if you're not careful so I just want to say you know guys even if you're not um, religious you know find something positive that would kind of like help take you out a certain space you know that you love or you know do little by little and see but always having your heart to hold on don't give up especially you know in general as well but I was gonna say especially people with their children but it goes to everybody Nobody wanna just come out of this world just like that and it wasn't something that happened naturally naturally or beyond your kind of doing, if you know what I mean, if that makes any sense, you know? So just hang on in there, hang on tight. Um what I do, I tell you, I listen to uplift uplifting music. If I see I'm kind of in a rut and like absorbing negativity like um i don't really absorb a lot of negativity but sometimes i can't get carried away watching certain things i shouldn't be watching like movies that it's a bit of a downer and it doesn't help with my depression and um or um listen to circular music and stuff like that because i'm not perfect you know the days where i just want to listen to certain music but um if I'm going into a rut, I'm just trying to snap myself out of it, try and listen to more positive things, more uplifting things, more, you know what I mean? Things that's going to get me up out of my bed, things that's going to get me, like, moving a bit and um, doing things and being there for my children, etc, etc. So, pardon, you can tell the, hit, the soup hit the spot. Ah. Oh. But it was really sad for me to read, but also I commend her for sharing. I commend her so much for sharing because some people hide away with their situation and they don't share. And I think sometimes when you share, 
that helps empower you as well. You feel like even if you feel a bit like down and thinking, oh, why did I put my business out there, whatever, whatever, it helps empower you. And I hope it does help empower her and take her out of that realm of feeling like she's not worth it because um, other people make her feel like she's not worth it. Dig deep. That lady got the most beautiful children I've ever seen in my life. Like, beautiful children. And yeah, they're probably growing up and things are changing and stuff like that. But she's got a lot to hang on in there for and keep going and try avoid the, like relationships that's going to make you feel bad about yourself and or friendships or, you know, whatever it is that's going to make you feel not good about yourself. Think about it and remove yourself out of it or stay away from it, you know, because we only get one life and, you know, we've got so much other um, stuff going on that we have to live through and cope with, like, you know, the pandemic and all of these other things that's going on around the world. So let's try and just keep moving forward and... Don't think in ourselves like, oh, it's a waste of point um, being here and all of these things because, trust me, we wouldn't be doing justice that of the people that just lose their lives uncontrollable and all of these things. So we just need to just push forward, take one day at a time, try and stay motivated, try and stay positive, try and live good, try and do the right thing. Those things you can only keep trying. There was one thing I read when... I think it was um, Maya Angelou, I hope I'm not wrong, I'm always coming with my quotation, but I feel in my heart that it is, that said, um, do the best it you can until you can do better, as in, when you like know better, you do better, you understand? Do the best you can until you can do better. So, I think that was um, incredible, because at the end of the day, you know, we all try to get through life or survive through life the best way we can, but we just, sometimes it hits you and sometimes it's difficult, you know, situation change, things change. You guys see where I had to completely um, start from scratch and that in itself would phase a lot of people. It, it was hard, but, you know, it didn't phase me. I'd rather that than sit into a, 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 a negative place or a toxic place or um, feeling my children is not blossoming in the way I know they can or they're not thriving. It's, it's a long list, you know. But I just wanted to say that if anybody out there that's going through difficulty, just hang on in there, do your best. Um, and um, God's willing, you, you make it through. And, you know continue sharing your story you know embrace whatever the good and bad and share it because you don't know who you're helping so and you know uh, lots of love and best wishes because i know this is just not easy times and we have to kind of um keep a listening ears especially for the people that's out there that um needs that extra little bit of an nudge in the right direction, a, a, a bit of um, positiveness in their life at certain times, you know, I definitely was blessed when I came here in Cornwall that meet people that will help me out, I'm truly grateful to them and um, yeah, so guys, <laughs> I've got a lot of food left back in my plate and I still haven't really completed the corn. Well, I just wanted to come and sit down. It's been a while for me to come and sit down and have a little chit chat with you guys. Um, while I'm eating, mm. just nip my lip there. But yeah, this soup is banging. So I'm just gonna say, you know. one day at a time, keep moving forwards, and um, this minute could be like the worst feeling you have in your life, but from experience, you go and experience 
such an amazing feeling at another time, you know, it's not the end of us. So let's just um, keep going, hanging on there, hang on to positivity because in the middle of the negative, the positive is more powerful and more better and um, yeah. Think about how happy you are when somebody show you a bit of um, kindness, you know? And I know that particular lady, she's not malicious, she's very loving, she ain't really got a bad bone in her. I'm telling you, because I've moved around her long enough to know <clears throat> when you can judge people and um, not that you should judge, but you know when you can suss somebody out, like really and truly, might not might be making a little bit of um, not so good decisions, and, you know what I mean, but not a bad bone, not a bad bone. Guys, I'm going to just continue eating this little thing that I've got in front of me. And just tell you guys to keep on like give me a thumbs up on the videos um subscribe to my channel share the videos with other people i really appreciate all the thumbs up all the little messages you know stuff like that it goes a long way and i'm sending out love blessing peace and joy best wishes out there to you all lots of love um yeah and I'll see you guys in another video. Pardon, another book. But yeah. So, go ahead guys. I always say this one as well, that I kind of like, haven't been saying for a while. Um, if you can't look after you, you most likely can't look after anyone else. But I always say, you, if you can't look after you, you can't look after anyone else. Um, yeah. Like, comment, share and subscribe guys. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in another video. And I just hope and pray that I continue trying to do um, a lot more sitting down and eating video with you guys. Bye, guys.